Guardiola delivers double blow to Liverpool ambitions with Man City masterstroke. Although the spotlight is firmly fixed on the enthralling Premier League title race between Manchester City and Liverpool, planning for the future is well underway at the Etihad and Anfield. City strengthened their grip on top spot by thrashing Newcastle 5-0 on Sunday after the Reds could only manage a 1-1 draw with Tottenham the previous day. Should they each win their remaining three games as expected, the two behemoths will end the season on the mammoth totals of 95 and 92 points respectively. The finale has been reminiscent of the gripping title race of the 2018-19 season, when City pipped Liverpool to the title by just one point with a whopping total of 98. It also raises questions of how long these two teams who play such delightful football can continue to dominate the English and continental, to some extent, game. However, if their latest transfer business is anything to go by, the Sky Blues have no intention on letting their dominance slip anytime soon. The imminent signing of Erling Haaland will only strengthen their star-studded squad by giving Pep Guardiola the out-and-out -out striker he has missed at times this season. Haaland, 21 has scored a breathtaking 85 times in 89 appearances for Borussia Dortmund and Premier League defenders are likely quaking in their boots at the prospect of containing the prolific Norwegian. Jurgen Klopp may also be concerned by City's transfer business for two reasons. Firstly, and most obviously, City will be even stronger favourites to lift the league title in the 2022-23 campaign with Holland in their ranks, regardless of how the final three games of this season play out. Instead of chopping and changing with the likes of Phil Foden, Kevin De Bruyne, Bernardo Silva, Jack Grealish and Gabriel Jesus in the false nine role, Guardiola will be able to deploy his new centre forward week in, week out, likely to devastating effect. Who will win the Premier League next season? Have your say in the comments, the second reason for Klopp and company to be perturbed about Holland's arrival relates to how it could impact Liverpool's own ambitions in the transfer market. While it does not appear as though Reds Chiefs are about to break the bank for a marquee summer signing, especially after Luis Diaz's pounds 50 million January arrival, they have been routinely linked with Dortmund wanderkid Jude Bellingham in recent months. The English midfielder, 18, has been tipped for greatness, but Dortmund will be highly reluctant to lose both of their most promising youngsters in the same summer, further reducing the likelihood of a move to Merseyside anytime soon. So, it appears to be advantage City ahead of the 2022-23 season as they have strengthened their squad, while potentially weakening their closest rivals' hand in the transfer market.